Hello guys, just uh, my number two video on my channel. I'm just going to do a quick and dirty uh, overview of my next challenge. And that's to introduce, or not introduce, but change out my Tron XY factory controller with the controller pictured on the left. Uh, seeing as my factory controller wants to give up the magic smoke every time I turn it on, well at least when I want to use the hotbed anyway, I've decided to bin it and uh, go with a just a Arduino based uh, 2560 uh, such as the MKS on the left. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just explain a little bit why I'm going to do this and why I'm not using the, the current controller and trying to repair that. So not, not saying I won't repair it for whatever use down the track but uh, for the time being I'm going to go down with this unit, the MKS there. MKS Gen L I think it is. So the main reason that I want to implement this MKS board is I want to put on and have enabled auto bed leveling. Because the Tron XY has such a big uh, print bed, it's going to be very beneficial to have uh, auto bed leveling up to 16 points. I guess the standard default bed leveling is, is only 9 points I believe. But I think uh, with this size, we need to go to at least 16 to get a, a decent decent sort of mesh. Uh, the other reason is I prefer using my 3D printer directly from my laptop. So I can control all aspects on the fly via the laptop. Uh, I'm not too... Well, I don't really use the SD card based method. I have done it in the past, but yeah, it's not for me. I've got uh, a few spare old laptops floating around which run Repetia Host and Cura quite well. Uh, so I'm quite happy to do that uh, and on top of that I can put this uh, control board and mount it away from the original mount point on the Tron XY and route wires more cleanly and uh, have them right out of the way and the only cable that will come back into well would be the USB cable connecting the unit to the laptop so with that I'm going to implement uh, a decent MOSFET system that's not using the one on board because they're not up to, up to scratch for this size heat bed, which is <coughs> excuse me which is fair enough um, so that's a challenge in itself because I haven't haven't drilled down what type of MOSFET I'm going to put on it just yet I definitely only want to go the single single MOSFET route because uh, using more than one has a whole heap of issues although you can do it it does introduce more issues than need be and another reason is the original Tron XY controller has onboard stepper drivers so what happens in the in the instance you pop one and it, it lets us magic smoke out you're stuck with a dead uh, driver whereas the MKS and many ramps models you can have independent drivers which can be changed out at any time and in particular this type I've ordered some uh, Trinamic uh, 2208s I think they are I haven't used them before and I want to give them a go uh, as far as you know having a quieter machine and I, I believe uh, the way it uses um, the profile for the stepper motors it's near silent but uh, it's not a big issue for me but I'm just interested in, in using a better technology as far as stepper drivers are concerned uh, and that's pretty much about it. Take, 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 control.